Hello, book lovers. Welcome back to another episode of Booklicious, where we dive deep into the latest and greatest in the literary world. I'm Story Wizard, your host for today, and I am thrilled to bring you an in-depth review of Liz Moore's latest novel, The God of the Woods. Grab your favorite beverage, settle in, and let's get started. Liz Moore has truly outdone herself with The God of the Woods. This novel is a masterful blend of mystery, family drama, and psychological suspense set against the hauntingly beautiful backdrop of the Adirondacks. If you're a fan of intricate plots and well-developed characters, this book is a must-read. Let's dive into the storyline. The novel centers around the Van Lahr family and their troubled legacy. The plot kicks off with the mysterious disappearance of 13-year-old Barbara Van Lahr during her first summer at Camp Emerson in 1975. This incident mirrors the disappearance of her older brother Bear, who vanished 14 years earlier. The non-linear narrative allows us to explore the family's pain and the complex relationships within it. Moore's writing is both evocative and precise, drawing readers into the emotional landscape of her characters. The multiple points of view and dual timelines add depth to the story, although some readers might find this structure a bit challenging to follow. But trust me, it's worth it. The way Moore builds suspense is truly gripping. One of the standout features of this novel is the character development. Peter Van Lahr, the patriarch, is portrayed as a man more concerned with his family's reputation than their well-being. His wife, Alice, faces immense pressure to have another child shortly after Bear's disappearance. This decision adds to the family's emotional turmoil. Then there's Tracy, Barbara's bunkmate, who becomes an unexpected ally in the investigation. And let's not forget state police detective Judita Luptak, whose investigation into Barbara's case unravels more than just the mystery of her disappearance. The setting of the Adirondacks is not just a backdrop, but a character in itself. The wilderness setting enhances the suspense and serves as a metaphor for the character's internal struggles. Moore's depiction of the Adirondacks is both beautiful and ominous, adding to the novel's atmospheric tension. Critics have lauded The God of the Woods for its depth and complexity. It's been described as a riveting foxtrap of a novel that combines elements of an epic mystery, family saga, and survival guide. While some have noted the slow pace, I believe it's a deliberate choice that adds to the overall suspense and character development. In conclusion, The God of the Woods is a testament to Liz Moore's storytelling prowess. It's a novel that demands patience, but rewards readers with a rich, emotionally engaging narrative. If you're looking for a book that combines mystery, psychological depth, and family drama, this is the one for you. Thank you for tuning into this episode of Booklicious. If you enjoyed this review, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. And if you've read The God of the Woods, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, happy reading.